from a security perspective, you don't want Gen AI apps to keep user credentials around, right? This is why we created async authorization. Now, behind the scenes, async authorization is powered by client-initiated back-channel authentication, or SIBA for short. With SIBA, you can build authentication flows when an end user can authenticate on a separate device. Now, let's go shopping and have Deepu show us how you can do this with Assistant Zero. Let's see an example where Assistant Zero actually completes a purchase from our fictional store and sends us a notification for approval. I have already configured a Auth0 tenant to enable SIBA and push notifications, so let's jump straight into code. First, we need to configure the Auth0 AA SDK to wrap our tools so that we can use async authorizations. Now, let's wrap our tool with this function so that it will be executed upon user approval and can even fetch access tokens from the SIBA flow if needed. Now, let's test it. This will trigger a push notification on my phone and I can approve or deny it. And this is how human-in-the-loop interactions would work with Auth0.